वेलकम टू द फाइनल एपिसोड ऑफ दिस वर्ल्डफुल सीरीज बहुत कुछ सीखने मिला आई होप आपने भी सीखा होगा नाउ वी हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक्ड अबाउट अर्षदीप भैया कॉलेज लाइफ वॉट ही डिड इन द फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड ईयर ऑफ कॉलेज दैन मूविंग ऑन टू द थर्ड ईयर वी टॉक्ड अबाउट द इंटर्नशिप प्रोजेक्ट दैट इट इन द थर्ड वीयर वी हैड अ कंपेरिजन बिटवीन वॉट्स लाइक एसेंशियली मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट वेब डेवलपमेंट कॉम्पिटेटिव कोडिंग वट वन शुड डिवोट इट्स हिज मो हिज अर मोर टाइम टू इफ दू गेट इन टू गेट प्लेस इन टू गूगल so now let's the final video let's talk actually about what's the internship process of google how do you uh, <clears throat> get placed into google the placement process the internship process and yeah uh, what's ppo how what's the process of getting a ppo stuff like that so yeah i hope you are excited so yeah ashdeep yeah tell us about your experience in google if you want to get like a internship so there are two ways that you can do first is an on campus internship that you can get like google visits on campus and second is like you can apply for off campus that you can like directly reach out to recruiter or some other way uh, like up just apply on the application portal or something like that so that's how you can apply to google so first step in google internship process or placement process is resume shortlisting so your resume should be good enough so that it passes the like google hiring bar so at least in my year like at least one year before this google used to have like really strict hiring bars in resumes so they used to like uh, select only 10 12 uh, students just on the basis of resume from the whole batch this year i guess it said it has improved like this year every student that applied most of the students got a a uh, link for a coding test and based on the score in that coding test you were invited for further interviews so i guess now it has improved but in our time it was mostly based upon resume so after you are shortlisted for what do we call inter- uh, interviews then in google there is there are for internships there is one technical phone interview and then there are uh, sorry there are two technical phone interviews those are consisted mostly of dsa questions and uh like general dsc questions and the difficulty of those interviews are somewhat more difficult than like the normal interviews that are there on campus at least the off campus interviews are somewhat more difficult and uh, yeah there's those are mostly based upon dsc uh after those after if you clear those particular two interviews then you get into a project matching phase mm-hmm. and in that project matching phase uh, you get to talk with different team managers of different teams and they will discuss they what project that they have in mind and if you are really fit for that project or not so if you have like a particular call with a particular manager and you discuss what are your skills and what have you worked upon and he explained you the project if you are interested in that project and the manager is also interested in taking you that that means it's a match and that's when the like internship process finishes uh, yeah. that's when you basically get an internship this is not true for the, like the normal indian internship so uh, like in india if you get like just clear the two technical interviews ds interviews then you get the internship offer so the host matching phase or the project matching phase that is there for us itself but not for india so that that's there and after you have like completed everything after you have got the internship and everything you do the 2 3 month internship in summer and uh, then you finally after your internship ends your host and your co-host write a feedback about you like how did you perform were you able to complete your task uh, what is your general googliness and how are you to talk to as a person or yeah. how what is your technical expertise and all those things and then you also have two additional technical interviews uh, those are also mostly dsa based somewhat more difficult than i had in internship uh, but still like uh, so google interviews are actually somewhat difficult than the general industry standard uh, but it's not really that difficult that you can't solve the question at all so yeah if you clear these interviews and the whole like the package that we have the feedback from the host and the two interviews feedback those sent to a committee and that committee decides if they're going to hire you or not uh, if they hire you then you get a pre placement offer that is basically you get a placement offer uh, if they don't hire you then you don't get an offer भैया सो लेट्स से आफ्टर थर्ड ईयर वी डेंट गेट एनी ऑफर या फिर कुछ प्रॉब्लम वी कैन स्टिल सिट फॉर प्लेसमेंट्स राइट या 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 सो एट लीस्ट इन बिट्स गोवा अंटिल अनलेस यू गेट अ पीपीओ यू कैन सिट फॉर प्लेसमेंट्स ऑन कैंपस लाइक ऑन कैंपस प्लेसमेंट यू कैन सिट फॉर इजीली बट इफ यू आर लाइक इंटर्निंग फॉर सम कंपनी एक्स 
and you want to apply for that company uh, interning for some company x then you can't apply for that company in your fourth year at least the general part of placements for that particular company so if you intern for google in the summer then you can't apply for placements for google in the fourth year you have to like apply after you graduate or after something you can apply if you don't get an offer from the intern but you can apply to other companies i think it's pretty easy uh, intern unless you get a ppo uh, you can sit for on campus internship off campus internship there's no limit you can apply off campus placements off campus internship there's no limit you can apply anywhere like it's completely okay okay so ppo all samajh gaya so what is the placement process for a general uh, bitchin let's say ppo nahi mila ya internship nahi baithe we just want to sit for placements so what is the placement process for uh, after four so for general like placement season so uh in bits goa the placement season starts in august of this there are two placement seasons it depends upon the which placements you sit for depends upon in which semester you are doing your practice school uh for dual ed uh this there is some different association like it depends which if you're doing the thesis then which semester do you sit for so for dual ed it's different but for single students uh it's really easy so if you're doing your practice school too in first semester you sit for second semester placements if you're doing it for second semester like practice school in second semester then you sit for first semester placements most of the cs students sit for first semester placements and go for a practice school in second semester uh because most of the good companies come in the first semester uh, at least for computer science and the practice school uh, the placement season start in august for the first semester and then like different companies visit on different days so on day 1 there are so how the companies are divided into like day 1 day 2 day 3 those depends upon practice school uh, like placement unit how they segregate companies based upon like strike uh, based upon the package that they have based upon the work culture that is there in the company based upon how uh, how are the relations with that company with the placement unit the, those are the factors how placement unit like divides companies into days so mm-hmm. you can apply for any company that came on campus and uh, the process is mostly that first thing that you have is a coding test uh, for the coding test uh, it's mostly dsa based or sometimes it's also somewhat different like some particular company such as udan or uh, Uh, I don't remember any other, but Udan had a different coding test. Like it was not DSA, but it was something different. Mm-hmm. Uh, apart from this, when you got selected from the coding test, then you are shortlisted for the interviews. And for placements, generally there are different number of interviews. So some companies have two interviews, some companies have three interviews, some companies have even five or six interviews. So it depends on the company how many interviews are there and for on campus placements usually you get the results after like one or two days after your interviews were there or even sometimes that same day at the night as well or even sometimes in the like last interview you also get to know if you're get, getting acha so uh, what about off campus placements yeah, yeah. so off campus placements is basically you are uh not using the any help that is provided by college and you're directly applying on career portal of different companies or you're like taking a referral or you're like directly reaching to a recruiter uh that's how off campus placement started uh, that that's off campus placement is started and i personally feel that it's really good if you get involved into like off campus at least hiring if you at least try to do that because after your first job your second job will be based upon like all these off campus things you are not going to get any placement unit after you graduate after your first after you change your like first company yeah. so that's why i feel like off campus experience in off campus i think should be uh, should be there with every student and uh, the process is somewhat same uh, only the like the timeline becomes a little longer usually on campus placements have like a one or two day timeline in which the coding test is on day one and uh, after a few days you have the interviews and you get the result in one or two days mm-hmm. but in off campus it can be the case you get a coding test on one in one month let's say in september you get invited for interviews in november and after your interviews you get the result in let's say december or january so that is possible that is completely possible and uh, again the process like differ for each of the company uh, i can tell about google like if you are applying for google for off campus or on campus as well there are there is a coding test like this year they have started a coding test then after the coding test you get a technical phone interview before the final like final on site interviews you get a technical interview if you clear that interview then if it was not covid times and like you can go to places then they would invite you to a office such as bangalore office or some particular office and then there are like five interviews that are there uh, in a single day 
and those interviews uh, out of the five four are technical interviews and one is a hr or google ns interview and if you are able to clear those interviews you get an offer after like the committee has decided okay guys so with this this wonderful series ends uh, i got to learn so much from you ashish bhai yeah thanks a lot for coming to the channel i hope my audience also kind of benefited from your presence and it was amazing to interact with you uh, kafi kuch seekhne ko mila pata chala ki 2 saal baad kya hone wala hai so yeah thanks a lot thanks a lot bhai for coming It was a pleasure in fact.